I think they record to the cloud is what they say. Okay. Um, what I'd like to do is thank all of you for joining us. Um, I'm going to uh, ask that you uh, introduce yourself and where you work and then talk a little bit about the options that you offer for students who um, or individuals who want to return to finish high school um, at, in your particular program. Um, and then we'll open the floor to questions and we're taping this for purposes of uh, making it available for folks to watch a little bit later. So um, let's see, um, Jill, do you wanna start since you've I got sure the program can. that kind of serves the earliest uh, age group? Sure. My name is Jill Daly and I'm the enrollment specialist at Cypress High School. We are located in Mansfield. Um, this is our second year that we have been open in the Mansfield area, but we are one of 12 Oakmont schools all across the state. Um, we serve students from the age of 15 to 21. Um, we are labeled under a dropout recovery school, so we are a DOR, um, but we have students that are just coming into high school um, for the same purpose, just because they don't like the area that they're in right now. Um, we do focus on um, core classes and we also have our career tech paths. Um, we are a half day program, which also benefits a lot of our older students who may come in the morning and then they can uh, take off and go to work in the afternoon. Uh, we have several different healthcare uh, uh, pioneer, or excuse me, uh, pathways to take for education. We have our healthcare, which has our phlebotomy, our uh, patient care tech and our medical assistant. We also have our business in our Microsoft office, and we also have manufacturing this year. So um, each one of those covers different core classes as well as um, electives and gets them certificates. And so we've also got a partnership with both Ohio State and NC State. So it's really beneficial for the students because like I said, some of the students struggle maybe in the larger classrooms and we have smaller classrooms and with the half, half day, day, day programs. So. That's pretty much our school in a nutshell. Okay, great, thank you. Thank you. Um, Don, do you wanna go next? Sure, uh, my name is Don Paul and I'm the Assistant uh, Director of Adult Education at Pioneer Career Center. Uh, so we offer a few different things. Um, first, we offer what is called our Adult Diploma Program. Uh, the Adult Diploma Program, students come in, they take one of our career tech programs uh, in welding. Uh, medical assisting, phlebotomy, STNA, and uh, we just recently started a construction program. I think one of our programs, uh, there's no English, there's no math, nothing like that. You take our program, earn a credential, and then you graduate with a high school diploma, um, a real high school diploma from the state of Ohio. Uh, we also offer, so, and that's free to all students that need a diploma. Uh, there's no cost to the student. We it's all covered through the state of Ohio. So it's a great opportunity. Um, another program we offer is the 22 plus. 22 plus is for students who maybe are a few credits short. Uh, they wanna take a class online and maybe get that English that they missed in 12th grade um, in English and maybe an OGT, uh, something like that, something along those lines, a little bit shorter term. They can complete that all online and then they would graduate from, with a diploma from the school that they reside in. So um, if you lived in Shelby and you live, currently live in Shelby and you complete that program, you would graduate for, with a diploma from Shelby High School. So again, free program, great program, a little bit different in that you're doing the math, you're doing the government, uh, you might have to take a science, OGT, but if you were just that credit or two short and you dropped out, that's a great option for students. Uh, the third option that we have is we uh, partner with Andrea and Mansfield Aspire, and we offer classes there. So um, we have a teacher that comes to us two days a week, and uh, I'm sure Andrea will talk more, but that is an option here at our Shelby campus. Um, the nice thing about our programs is, let's say, you know, you live in Crawford County as well. I know we get some kind of the people on the line. We have people that travel, work. We do offer some of our classes um, at Bucyrus and Winford as well. So um, a lot of different options uh, for us and look forward to helping whoever we can. Great, thank you. Andrea, we'll pitch it to you next if that works. Uh, you need to unmute. 
There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I am Andrea Karpiak Beasel with Mansfield City Schools Adult Education Aspire Program. Um, so as Don said, um, he and I are partners, but to give you a little bit of background information, we fall under a federal grant, so all of our services are free. We serve students that are 19 and up. Um, we can serve some minor students with the uh, proper uh, public school withdrawal forms, um, but we offer classes to help support students to get the right training for their GED, for the adult diploma program. So we partner with Pioneer, with Madison, and also with Ashland West Homes. Um, we also uh, can, can help students just enhance their basic adult literacy education and math and reading. We offer transitional services uh, to help for uh, employment, resume building, job interviewing skills. Um, and we are, so we've got three, we've got three day, no, uh, two daytime sites, um, our main building on West 5th Street, as well as Crawford Success Center in Bucyrus. So that's a partnering um, with North Central State College. Um, and then we've got evening classes at uh, Madison, Pioneer, um, oh, and a daytime class at the Croc Center in Ashland as well. And they were also located at the uh, Community Alternative Center um, for Corrections also. Wonderful, thank you. Um, Lisa, do you wanna go next? You're muted too. <laughs> I didn't think you wanted the background noise at my house. <laughs> oh, were you the one with the lovely dog? <laughs> no, that wasn't oh. mine. Oh. I do have dogs, but they were quiet. <laughs> I'm Lisa Miracle. I'm the assistant director at Madison Adult Career Center. I work a lot with our financial aid programs our, and planning our programs here. And I'm happy to announce that um, this is our fourth year in the adult diploma program. And uh, right now we're offering a basic office support services program, which um, covers some of your Microsoft, your Word, Excel, PowerPoint, um, and some basic math. We don't get too detailed in the math, but just enough that you would be able to work at an entry level job. So that's called our boss program that starts October 18th. We have a welding section coming up in January. Uh, and we start welding twice a year for adult diploma students. And very similar to the Pioneer program, you're going to see that um, you can take a career tech program if you meet the minimum scores. And we have free tutoring available to help you get to those scores. And um, that's in a partnership with our wonderful Mansfield, Mansfield um, Adult Education. I know I'm gonna probably mess up the name, official name, <laughs> but <laughs> with our Mansfield Adult Partners there. And they come to Madison twice a week. Very similar to the setup at Pioneer. So it really just depends where you live closest to and what would be most convenient. Um, we offer the Precision Machining Program, which will start here in about a month. And STNA programs that start seven times a year and dental assisting that'll start next fall. We just started a big group of dental assistants. So those are our adult diploma program options for students. And beyond that, we have advanced cosmetology, cosmetology, dental assisting, industrial electrical maintenance, medical legal office, medical assisting technologies, phlebotomy, machining, precision machining and CNC, and our STNA programs and our welding programs. So students, can, they can get their um, Ohio adult diploma. It reads Ohio high school adult diploma. It's, it's the actual credential that you get from the state of Ohio, whether you go to Madison or Pioneer. And um, that is originally when they rolled out, the employers were a little bit suspicious. What is this? But now employers are all about it. They have no trouble taking those diplomas and the, the two and four year colleges are recognizing those. So it's been a really great option for a lot of students. And, and we have programs that start all across the board. So if a student's completed, let's say a section of our welding adult diploma, they could also come back and get about almost half their program in our 630 welding technology program. So it saves a lot of money okay. and time and they get advanced standing into our um, medical legal office as well. They get about a hundred hours toward that program as well. So, mm -hmm. so there's definite incentives for our students to continue on. 
Wonderful. It sounds like all of the programs are providing great opportunities, not only to finish a degree, but to be prepared to go to work in some really great fields yep. as well. Yep. You can continue, go to work, continue your education, both. You have a lot of options with those adult diploma programs. Great. Stephen, would you like to go? Indeed. Hi, folks. Uh, my name is Steve Russell, and uh, I'm the Workforce Development Coordinator at the Mansfield Richland County Public Library. I'm based in downtown Mansfield here at the main library. Um, I manage the Learning Lab, which is our computer lab, um, where we're here to assist people with uh, any computer uh, related problems or questions they might have. We also teach classes um, uh, morning and evening uh, in topics like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, um, and also some uh, job search skills such as online job skirt searching and uh, uh, writing resumes. Now, the, uh, the library offers access to something called the Career Online High School. Uh, this is an online high school diploma program for which the library has a limited number of scholarships to award. Uh, the program's open to anyone 21 and over who resides in Richland County and didn't manage to complete their diploma or get a GED in the past. It's an alternative to the physical classroom programs. And since it's completely online, you need to be comfortable with that form of remote learning and you need to be self-motivated. But uh, for those that it works for, it offers a lot of flexibility for uh, those who have challenges with scheduling travel or childcare and that kind of thing. Um, it's not just a test, it's a program that allows you to learn online uh, with the help of a dedicated academic coach to build up 18 credits. Uh, 14 of those credits are core curriculum with the other four being a career-based elective. And students are able to transfer up to 14 credits, so it can be a particularly good option for someone who just miss graduation but that's not required you don't need to transfer anything in um, for those who are interested uh, you can uh, apply on the library's website and uh, you need to take a two-week prerequisite and pass uh, with a score of 70 percent or more and this basically gives you an idea uh, for whether uh, the online form of learning is going to work for you and uh, there's a, a minimum uh, that you need to get and if uh, you pass through that you get to interview with me and the director and uh, we can award you the scholarship and typically it takes about a about a year to complete that program. Okay. Now you and Don both mentioned um, kind of a program that would let people who are pretty close get things done or any of the other programs designed where people are are pretty close they could finish or is it the one at Pioneer and the one at the library that are the two that are you know allow for that I was gonna say at Cypress depending on where the student is uh, when they come in we've had students that can graduate early I mean okay. we've had students that started last year that were very close and they got done in just a couple months so it depends on where they're at as far as what credits they have so they're able to because it's individually based and paced, they are able to get done quicker. We've actually had two students that started in August this year that maybe had come back from last year that already finished up their and have their diplomas as of the September 30th. So oh, wow. once they once they achieve all their credits, then they, they're done, then they can come back in June if they wanna walk for graduation, but they're actually done with all their schooling already. And if I could jump in too, um, students, when they first join with us, they will take a TABE assessment and based on their academic placement uh, scores, will kind of determine um, how long that they would need to be in our program. So some students come in um, very high achieving and we just kind of need to do some refreshing with them, um, give them some official GD uh, practice tests and just be their coach along the way to get them through the program. Um, and one thing that I didn't mention as well is we do have um, distance education classes as well, both day and evening, or you can kind of do a hybrid, a mix of both. So we really try to adapt to um, anybody's unique uh, situation because we know that you know home, kids, jobs, and so forth, you know, a lot of that can come in the way of, of education. Okay. 
Um, Don, you were talking about the adult diploma program and the 22 plus program. And you said that the individuals who came to you and completed those programs, they would be awarded um, a diploma through their school district. What about students who went to somewhere like ECOT? Now ECOT doesn't exist anymore. Would they then um, default to their home school or how would that work? Or have you even been challenged with that situation? So how it works uh, with the adult diploma, I think, um, like Lisa had said, it's actually comes from the state of Ohio. Okay. So, um, it comes as a, I mean, it's printed out as a diploma. From, it says Ohio state. I forget what she had said, you know, Ohio state diploma. Mm -hmm. Um, so how the 22 plus works and the reason it's called 22 plus, I guess to kind of back up adult diploma, uh, actually starting, I believe October 1st, uh, is conservative anybody 20 years or older. So if you're 20 years or older, you can come take one of our career tech programs, get that credential and graduate. 22 plus is called that because you do have to be 22 years or older in order to complete that program. Um, so they'll come in, they'll finish out what they need to, and they will actually get a diploma awarded from the school they currently reside in. Okay. So it has nothing to do with, you could have started in Mansfield, ended up in Ontario. Okay. If that's where you live now, you will graduate with a diploma from Ontario. Okay. Um, if it rolls reversed, you would graduate from one from Mansfield High School. So it's okay. where you currently reside. And um, so if, so you said it's based upon what credits they still need or if they need their OGT. So you would have to have a transcript from their, from what they did in high school. Yes. Yeah. And okay. schools are really good about sending us one. I know we've had that before okay. where, I mean, people that have been out of school for 30 years, um, you know, they, we can get one. We actually had a, a lady actually graduate last year that was, I believe, 87 years old. Wow. Uh, came into wow. the program, finished up, and got her diploma. And we were able to get the information we needed. So that's great. That's and great. we will work with the student on um, getting that information. And we have some contacts, obviously, in each of our home schools. So we can get that information. Okay, wonderful. And what's the schedule like for the students that come and do those programs? So for ours, for the adult diploma, we have a whole list of, uh, of a schedule and that's on our website if you okay. uh, www.gotopioneer.com and search for adult or click on adult education. For the 22 plus, it's a little different because it's online and self-paced. Um, we can start that whenever. So give us a oh, call right. and we can, you know, as soon as we get our information and get you set up and take evaluate your transcript, we can get you started. Awesome. Thank you so much. And it would work the same at Madison, um, very similar. I think some of our classes that start the soonest would be, we have an evening SCNA club class that's gonna start in November. Sometimes evening works a little better, sometimes daytime. Um, we have day and evening classes. Our basic office support classes, a daytime and an evening, and SCNA, and then the machining will be coming up in about a month and that's an evening class. So, it, you know, it will um, depend on the student's availability and schedule when they can meet some minimum scores. But I think that probably the biggest thing that I will advise students when they're coming in and they get a little frustrated because maybe they haven't passed the work keys right, right away and they, they wanna start right away. Um, I always tell my students that the high school students put in the work back in high school. And at that point they stopped out and now they're putting in that work to, to get to the next step. And mm -hmm. it's very doable. There's some free tutoring. It might take a little patience, might take a little work, but it definitely is worth it and definitely pays off. Awesome, that's great. Um, I, that so, was sorry, just to add one thing. Go um, ahead. If you are thinking about doing adult diploma um, or really any of it, uh, if you go to Ohio Means Jobs and search for work keys, there's some free practice materials. You can look at questions, you can take practice tests, whatever you need. Right. It's a really great resource to kind of get yourself started. Where are you at? And just like with Madison, we provide tutoring as well. So we can, regardless, we'll get you, we'll get you where you need to be. Wonderful. Um, at NC State here in the tutoring center, we do help students with the work keys as needed as well. So if, um, and it would be free, even if they're not planning to attend NC State. So if they were interested in coming out here for that purpose, especially if they wanted to continue here when they finished with either of your programs, um, sometimes it's a good time to get them kind of acclimated and comfortable and connected with resources so they know where they need to go when they start classes and they're um, struggling. So we can help with that too anytime you need. 
When is your tutoring at North Central State, Barb? So um, right here in the Filarius building, we have tutoring from on Mondays through Thursdays from 10 to 5. That's our official time, but we have tutoring from 8 o'clock in the morning until 9 o'clock at night. Um, we have tutors in about six different locations right now. Normally, we have tutors in 13 locations, but we also have tutors online. And, um, and the tutors work in the evenings, on the weekends. They can do all kinds of things online. So, um, And I've even made arrangements. Um, if there's a group of students who need to come in um, on a Friday or on the weekends, we've gone to the library with a group of students before, um, or um, I can open up the center if we, if we have a group of people that need to come in. So we can adjust according to what, what the students needs are. So if, you know, if, if either of your programs have students who need additional support um, and they're interested in coming out here, they're welcome to come. And if we had a student, let's say that they, their schedules just wasn't jiving and they wanted to head that direction, um, we could just refer them over to you. Yep. Yep. Okay. You can refer them to me and we'll get them connected and um, we'll try to work out the details. Most of the time I can accommodate special requests. Um, right now I'm a little short staffed, uh, but I am hiring. So, you know, everyone's short staffed right now. <laughs> but, um, sure. So, um, but yeah, we try to accommodate, um, you know, meet the students where they are and that kind of thing. And we have materials that are kind of homegrown so that um, we can start from scratch. You know, we do a lot of competency-based things. So we kind of test where the students are. Um, so if they need some remedial support, we can, we can start as low as we need to and move them through the steps and then work through the, the work key skills that they need. So um, whatever we need to do to help. Other questions, uh, these are these are great questions. These are things that I, I'm learning lots of new stuff. Anything anybody wants to ask one another or share that we haven't talked about? Yeah, one thing that I wanted to add is um, sometimes, you know, students have been away from education for so long um, where a lot of it has not, it, it's not close in their mind or um, maybe they came from a time where they did not need to take algebra in high school. And so they've never had um, algebra one. The GED test, um, test from about middle school level through some algebra one skills. Um, for some that just may be too difficult to obtain. And maybe they just want to get their um, GED or high school diploma for um, a certain job or to move up in their, their current job. So we could offer them, you know, the the adult diploma program route, um, maybe, you know, that like at Madison, the STNA and the BOSS program are two of the uh, fastest programs. And maybe they would not be able to get to the rigorous level of the GED, but they would be able to obtain the math scores for the work keys test needed for the adult diploma program. And um, that could be, you know, the best pathway for them, even if they didn't want to become an STNA or go into um, an office type of setting. It may be best for them um, to go that route just because of the, the time constraint to, to be able to get to the level that the GED requires versus the adult diploma program. So that's just what what is so nice now is that the state, I think, listened and you know, there's there's alternative pathways. Um, there's there's reasons why students didn't finish high school, and uh, now now they're it, it's become where they, they've adapted to the needs of of our students, um, ready to pursue their next academic or um, college or career goals. Great, thank you. Anyone one of the questions that, oh sorry oh that's okay go ahead i was going to tell you to go ahead well one of the questions that we get asked is are we a real school and what kind of diploma are they going to get and it's it's an actual high school diploma it's transferable whether we've got we've had students that have gone on to college we've had students that went into the military so they're like is it just like some kind of a certificate but no it, it's an actual diploma and our program is 100 percent free as well um, so those are a couple of things that they wonder what's the cost or what's it going to cost to take some of our 
our pathways and and with our tech programs and everything, it's all 100% free. So those are some other things that we get asked as well. So. And is your diploma from Hi Cypress High School or is it yes. from the Oakmont? Okay. It's from Cypress High School. Yeah. And we had I, I don't know if any of the rest of you have dealt with this, but um, there's some of those correspondence schools, not, I'm not including Cypress in this, no. um, that are really just pay for a piece of paper schools. They send a yes. hundred dollars. And I've even flushed yeah. out a fake accreditor. Um, wow. Cornerstone oh, wow. question is probably one of the biggest offenders of this. And it looks, it, they're getting better because <laughs> I had to look and read harder on this last one, but Cornerstone Christian, you basically send them a couple hundred bucks. They send you a diploma. And if you're not really watching, it says right on the website accredited. But when you pick, click on the accredited, the language is ridiculous. And wow. the links are all screwed up. So if you, if you track it down, but they are getting better. Um, and and I will reject those every time. And, you know, students really need to have something approved and accredited. And so I'm sure all of ours meet, we all meet those criteria. But when I'm advising students, sometimes mm -hmm. it's a little bit irritating to them when they pay a couple hundred dollars and we don't take their diploma. Well, and that's probably, probably schools like that that get people to question us because obviously we just popped up in the Mansfield area out of nowhere and people are like hmm where'd that come from but like I said there's 12 Oakmont schools across the state and have been around for years so we just uh, came about last year in our area because they saw the need for a different uh, style of high school a different option so it's been really great um, we were hoping to have 75 students last year we ended with 134 um, we had 24 graduate and then two additional graduate through the summer. And like I said, we had two more graduate now as in September and our enrollment is currently 155. So we're seeing the need and we're fulfilling that need and the, the word spreading. And I think that the more people that know about us, um, we've got a great reputation and a great rapport with the different high schools. Um, they've found that some of the students that they have are not going to be able to graduate in the traditional setting and they've even referred them to us. So it has been a great year and going on our second year of growth. So, and the relationships have been really great. And Jill, could I just um, ask you a question? I know we, sure. we had a student that had aged out of your high school that was okay. at some additional options. How does that work? Um, we do have a couple of representatives. We have a family advocate that works with us and she's been reaching out to different uh, schools because a student can start with us as late as 21, as long as they step foot and enroll in our school before they turn 22, even if it's just a couple of days. Once they enroll, they are good for the entire school year. Um, but if they age out in the summer and they try to come back, then they can't. So we've been trying to look for some of the different options and some of the different things I've heard from you guys are definitely things that I wanna take back and make sure that that they understand that there are other options um, as opposed to just not just just a GED. I mean, we want to make sure that they know that there's some other sources out there. Um, because I think like you somebody had touched on, the fact that algebra is something that people are a little scared of. Um, and taking the GED test is a little scary for some of them. And to be able to go back and actually get some of the other skills, I think is very beneficial. And I know also, we're talking kind of, about age. I'm sorry, did I cut you off? <laughs> no, no, go ahead, Lisa. You're fine. Um, go ahead. I know we're talking about ages. Um, October 1st, Ohio did actually drop that age for the Ohio Adult Diploma Program down to 20. So okay. that's a brand new thing as of a few days ago. Nice. And from my understanding, Lisa, you could be um, 19 and enroll as long as you turn 20 by the the end of the course. They can they can join. Is that is that correct or, or is that um, not correct information? They can, John, how are you guys handling that at Pioneer? As long as they are done, according to the letter of the law, as long as they're done by the time their program is over, they're good to go. So if they are 19, um, let's say I just turned 19 today, but I'm gonna and take us and take our welding and I'll turn 20 and December 
and our welding program doesn't end until January, then they would be fine. So right. yeah, as long as we you do the same thing by the time you're done. We do the same thing. I just wanted you to say it first. <laughs> <laughs> um, to kind of expand on our transitional services. So let's say somebody has already obtained their, their GED or they've completed the adult diploma program. That doesn't mean that their time with us has to end. Um, we have students that want to go on to other post-secondary. If they want to enroll in Ohio State or North Central State College, we can continue to work with them um, to prepare them for any placement tests. Um, also, if they're wanting to go into the military, we can help them with the uh, practice ASVAB tests as well. Just the only time that we cannot serve the student is once they have enrolled into post-secondary. So let's say they're going out to Pioneer, Madison, and um, they're going through the initial paperwork and so forth, and we're working with them on uh, getting ready for the work keys test and they take the work keys test and um, whether they're ready or they're not ready, they can still continue classes with us if they choose to. Um, just the, the night that they start their actual um, post-secondary class or their career tech um, credential is the day that we cannot serve them any longer. But let's say they go ahead, they graduate, um, and if they wanted to come back to us for any reason, if they wanted to use STNA as a pathway to go on to college, but they know that you know they still need to work on some of their math skills to get it up and ready so that they don't have to take and maybe pay for those remedial classes, they can come back to us um, and then enroll into uh, their their next post-secondary. But once they start classes at OSU or um, North Central or wherever they're, they're going, um, then we can no longer serve them. Can anybody think of anything else that we need to ask or make sure to share um, with anybody who may watch this? Um, there's lots of interest in information, lots of things that I didn't know that I hope people will find very helpful. I found it very helpful. Anna, would it be a good idea to share phone numbers for, for each person so that the individuals can contact the appropriate? Yeah, that would be great. If each one of you, we can, uh, I'll call you out if you want to share the best number or, or way to reach you, that would be um, great. Jill, we can start with you. Sure. Again, my name is Jill Daly, and my number at Cypress is 419-528-8812. Um, Andrea. Andrea Karpiak Kiesel with Mansfield City Schools Adult Education Aspire Program. So our website is mansfieldadulteducation.com. Our phone number is 419-525-6380. And to find out more program information or to enroll, um, you would press extension two. All right. Lisa. Madison Dalt Career Center, 419-589-6363. And you can find us madisonadultcc.org. And Don. Uh, Pioneer Career Center Adult Education. Again, our website is go to pioneer.com and then you can click on adult ed. Uh, our phone number is 419-342. 1100, and that will dial directly to our office. Right. And then Stephen. Steve Russell, uh, Mansfield Public Library. Our website is mrcpl.org, and you can call me directly on 419 521 4721. And I'll be going back through the transcript. I'm watching things that are popping up, and I'm like, wow, this just goes so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> things that are there so I will go back through and make sure that we uh you know clear up any of the things that might be a little confusing because it is kind of fun to sit here and watch what's going across it's live captioning um <laughs> I, I, I want to thank all of you for making time tonight to come and join us um, so we can make this available I wish that there had been some folks online but I appreciate you taking time because we've got a video now and some information and People can watch it whenever they want to um, and learn that there are all kinds of options 
And then in this case, this is a place where free is good because there are great programs that are free. And if you're having to pay for it, you're probably being taken advantage of. So, um, and that doesn't happen often because usually people say if it's free, it's too good to be true. In this case, no, it's free. It's what you want. Um, so, I, you know, that's good to know and to drive on too that there's a lot of great learning opportunities and that they're grant funded and that people can take advantage of that.